I hope you've all watched the new Malayalam film Talavan, which is streaming on Sony Live, because this video is going to be a spoiler-filled discussion. If you still not have watched the film, then remember to watch my video on the spoiler-free discussion of the film. It's under the Malayalam playlist, and then revisit this video after watching the film. If you have already watched the film, then sit back and enjoy the video, and also remember to chime in your thoughts in the comment section. Hi guys, this is Farah, and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews. If you're new to this channel, then please smash that subscribe button now, and remember to like and comment. on the video liking and commenting helps fuel the youtube algorithm and this is especially a video that i thought to make on explaining the ending and my conspiracy theories around the malayalam film talavan which is streaming on sony live and for that i'll just briefly you know uh, strike the story again and introduce the characters before then going on to the conspiracy theories that are there So Talavan is essentially the story of uh, a murder mystery that transpires when you know the CI the circle inspector is accused of murder he also has a initial rift with the sub inspector Karthik that is there so the main characters basically that are there are Karthik who's the sub inspector and jay shankar who's the circle inspector there is also a dysp the one who's narrating the entire incident that is there at the start of the film you see you see him at the end which i'll get to in a minute but uh, the entire uh, uh, case is narrated in front of a camera uh, for uh, a youtube channel or the journalists that work on a youtube channel that are there and uh, that is the importance of dysp also now there's another character that is there called manu manu is a jail convict who uh, happens to be uh, afraid of a guy called vinayakan that is there and uh, which ultimately doesn't prove anything because vinayakan seems to be innocent here in the entire mess there's another character that is there called alappan who is a novelist and he you know uh, investigates these dramas that are there in audience for um, writing novels that are there which are slightly exaggerated and over the top there is also the ultimate killer that is there called uh, shiva dasan that is the he's the asi um, and the the story here goes that um, in a flashback you see arun who is shiva dasan's son and his girlfriend along with his group who get into a you know a altercation with a police officer who happens to be eve teasing uh, the sole girl of the group and once you know uh, they uh, start that altercation they are intercepted by uh, ci jay shankar who's played by biju menon by the way and uh, biju menon is known for his tempo his short temper he takes arun and his girlfriend to the station he beats arun up he also asks arun's father shiva dasan who's the ultimate murderer in the entire scheme of things that is there to beat his son up in front of arun's girlfriend and arun's girlfriend is just barely shown and you know skip through and it is arun who then later commits suicide which i felt to slightly dramatic and not a strong reason uh, for the rest of the drama but that is the only weak link i felt in the film but nevertheless um, you see arun committing suicide because he cannot live with that guilt of being shown weak in front of his girlfriend you know and i think that was the trigger point uh, which eventually led to shiva dasan uh, you know taking revenge for his son that is there and um, that was the stream that was there shown in the film talavan now coming to the ending little moments before the ending you see the character of dysp which is played by dilish pothan you see him uh, telling those uh, you know the reporters the journalists on when to telecast his interview that is there he said he is going to give the date and time uh, on when to telecast and uh, that is the time they'll telecast it and you see the end, end shot that is there of him lying dead on his sofa you know there's a headshot on his head and he's lying dead uh, right in front of the television while the te- uh, there is the telecast that happens of his own interview and in the telecast you see him saying that he's going to reveal some more details which you know starts messing with your mind that is there 
Now there are two conspiracy theories that I have thought about. The first being that it's the lesser theory that is there. The first, let's get to that. That the character of Alip and the novelist who's played by Jafar Idduki, um, you see uh, that he's always on the lookout for the cases. What if that character has killed the character of uh, DYSP and will be writing a novel on it? Remember the camera at the very end of the film, you know, panned on the character of Jafar Idduki and... Um, there was this menacing look on his face. It may have been on his new subject matter of the book, may have been indicating him to be the murderer. It may have been both. It may have been none. But that is the first conspiracy theory, which is the lesser conspiracy theory as per me. I felt that uh, this can be a possibility, but not the entire possibility that is there. The other possibility, and I feel this is the main possibility that is there is that remember the convict that I spoke about called Manu who was in jail and who accused Vinayakan of uh, you know uh, threatening to take his life what if Manu is implanted in that jail by the DYSP who is 110% involved in the murder, you know, in all this mess that is then some way or the other. Now, remember when, uh, remember the DYSP, the character of DYSP that is there, which is Dilish Potan. Remember uh, how he, uh, you know, removed the name of uh, Sinto and Ally in the entire mess that is there in the report that he gave to SI Karthik. That is one indicator that uh, he may be involved, you know, but what if the character of DYSP is the father of Arun's girlfriend who is not shown in the film at all after a point and probably she may have also committed suicide on hearing Arun's news of his demise, you know, of Arun committing suicide as well. She may have committed suicide and this entire, you know, the episode that is there would, you know, uh, have unfolded uh, with the DYSP wanting to extract revenge on CI Jay Shankar, which is played by Biju Menon. I think uh, what the DYSP may have very well done is that implanted Manu and probably uh, in the jail to keep an eye on CI Jay Shankar initially only for, uh, you know, later on probably may have wanting him to uh, have him get killed and then have all the blame put on C.I. Jay Shankar again. Remember, there was a scene wherein uh, the DYSP randomly out of nowhere in the night uh, calls uh, C.I. Jay Shankar and says, let's have a drink together. That may well have been that scene because after a point, you don't see Manu at all. He's disappeared from the scene completely in the film. And uh, that, you know, definitely raises eyebrows. But in the wake of all the things, you know, with Shiva Dasan uh, actually, um, uh, getting to uh, C.I. Shankar before uh, the DYSP uh, uh, by you know extracting revenge for his son that is there I think uh, DYSP may have then taken a back seat in all of this having said that then who killed DYSP at the end of it it may have been Manu after all because Manu may then uh, either have been captured by the DYSP initially and kept him in hiding or Manu may have discovered the sinister plan of DYSP and, you know, shot him, you know, even while watching the interview that is there. Remember, uh, he was found in his own room having, you know, had a headshot in his head, you know, while watching the telecast that is there. So there may have been a case that Manu may have been kept in DYSP's own house by uh, Dilish Potan, the DYSP and... Um, uh, he may have actually uh, shot him basically while watching the telecast knowing that you know he would be revealing further details as well about the case and how the DYSP might you know invariably have uh, plotted the murder of Manu himself. Now there is also another theory that you know some may find that uh, the DYSP may have committed suicide you know but I don't think that is the case because how else would you explain it that uh, the in the next episode of the telecast ZYSP had promised that um, he would be revealing a lot uh, more details about the same case that is there. So then that doesn't add up. Why would he want to add and then back off at the last minute? He could also have said no, right? So I don't think the suicide is an option. 
so basically dysp is 100% related in the plotting of the entire plot that is there and it would probably be the character of manu who would you know uh, have killed him all of that you know we may see in the second part if it's made the sequel is announced but i don't know whether it will be made or not so taliban 2 is announced and probably will you know touch upon these points as well so let me know what are your conspiracy theories on the film taliban that is there in the comment section i would love to hear from you engage with you whether you buy into these conspiracy theories or not and uh, what are your thoughts on it let me know it's i'm up for a discussion always also remember to like the video and if you want to comment on any recommendations for me that as well you can share this video with your friends and family ask them to subscribe to the channel and let's grow this digi family together you can also read my full uh, review of the film taliban on my site popcorn reviews with the double s the link of which is in the description box below also you know follow me on different social media platforms like facebook instagram twitter and letterbox i do not end up making your video on everything that i watch but there's a daily review out every day on my site so remember to watch it uh, remember to read it rather and you can read it in your own language you know you can translate it in your own language so all of that i hope there's a lot of content there you can watch and read whatever medium you want to on my site or on youtube or social media handles all information is there as well i'll see you again soon with another video till then take care of yourselves and thank you so much for your love and support cheers